Hey there guys, Dark Mirror. Welcome back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. In this one, we're doing some ticket summons. We're already kind of like getting in one because like the beginning of the video kind of got like a little corrupted there. But that, that's fine. We didn't miss a whole lot. It's just this. Like we're just, I was just explaining we're doing five multis on the Master Pack. One on the uh, Ultra Space Time Clash, that banner. And yeah, just, just getting ready for the anniversary. Which... If they don't, like, if they just drop Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on us, like, an hour or, like, a few hours before the banners drop, that'll be the most hype thing ever. Because while I really like only having one Legends Limited unit, it's just weird. Oh, and that was a full hero multi. Okay. Um, that's cool. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, I'm just, I like how, I like that form of, like, okay, here, the like, the main sparking is on both, but then each individual banner has two separate sparkings, its own new extremes, I like that idea, but it's just weird that they set up this, like, GT versus Super kind of thing, but then the Legends Limited unit is just from Super, you know? Did I just do a single... I did. Consecutive. Okay. It's just weird that they did that. Well, honestly, I think it'd be kind of funny if they dropped Gogeta, like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and put him with Trunks and, uh, Zamasu. And then put, uh... Ooh, are we getting a spark in here? Um... And then put Vegito Blue with Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I think that'd be kind of funny. I would prefer it if they kept it to GT and Super, but I think that'd just be a funny thing to do. Regardless... I'm summoning for the GT characters just because I prefer GT and the Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Goku look a lot cooler to me than Trunks and uh, Zamasu. Especially since... Okay, Trunks has like the Super Saiyan Rosé looking aura. And I just don't like how that looks in this game. I think it looks better on him than it does on Rosé. But either way, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. And wow, we are not getting anything here. Okay... You know, those two are limit broken now, so I guess that I guess that's good. Um. Ooh, what do you do now? That's not terrible. Um. But yeah, I just I just don't think that they should have done some like if they wanted to do like future trunk stuff. Ooh, I actually don't. I actually have no idea what Nimbus means. I've gone to Sparking every single time Nimbus shows up. I don't know if that's what it means, or if it means, like, extreme guaranteed. It could mean that, too. Um, but I just feel like if they were going to do Super versus GT, they should have had Gogeta on one, Vegeta on the other. But if they wanted it, like, really badly for it to just be Vegito Blue, then I don't think that they should have had the other banner be GT. I just feel like one banner probably should have been, like... I don't know, like, what's another big character from that arc that they could have done for the banner instead? Like, maybe they just give us, like, a... Well, we already have... We have a lot of blue Gokus already in this game. In the span of one year, we've gotten the Kaioken blue Goku. Granted, we could just get another blue Goku specifically from this arc. And then, like, I don't know. Now, Mai wouldn't sell very well. She... I was about to say my, but she's like, that's not an anniversary character. Like, these guys, these guys feel like anniversary characters, but like, my, eh, you know? Um, well, maybe we could have gotten, like, another, like, tag team card between, like, Zamasu, like, a Zamasu, like, and base Goku Black. Like, it doesn't need to be Rosé or anything like that, but just Zamasu and Goku Black. That's one card that could be on the banner with alongside a... Either Trunks and Zamasu, and the other banner could have Trunks and Zamasu, and then, like, a blue Goku that also has, like... Maybe just, like, yeah, he goes Kaioken for that one, too. Or maybe he could, he could just go Kaioken for, like, his, uh... Like, he could have, like, an ultimate card. And in the attack, he goes Kaioken. Because he only goes Kaioken for, like, little brief moments throughout that arc. So something along those lines. I think that'd be cool. Again, specifically for them doing GT versus Super... Gogeta should be there. 
he just should. That just makes sense to, like, literally everybody. That's why everybody is just kind of sitting here just like, all right, I'm just waiting. When are they going to drop Gogeta Blue on us? I mean, not Gogeta Blue, but uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Which, I don't know, would be cool. Because, like, no other Dragon Ball, like, gacha game, that I know of at least, has done the uh, GT versus Super stuff. It's always, here's a GT celebration, here's a Super celebration. Those things are completely different. Like, uh, for a while, I wanted the five-year anniversary to be, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and, like, Blue Gogeta. I thought that'd be super cool. But uh, instead, we got Gogeta Blue and Vegeta Blue, which I'm, like, I'm fine with. But Legends set it up so perfectly to be both GT and Super, and then just didn't deliver on it. I mean, granted, again, there's still time. They could still drop Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on us. But if they don't, then it's going to be like, eh, why, why'd you set it up then? Why'd you set up for that, you know? Um, okay, now we only have one more. And the main card I want on this is obviously Vegeta. I don't actually... Are the other Legends Limited characters even here? I, I always forget what's even on this banner. Uh, Z Power List. Yeah, they are. But I mostly just want Gogeta, I mean Vegito. Because I use, like, Fusions and Future. Well, Fusions, Future, and Realm of Gods are, like, the three teams that I want. So I either want Vegito or uh, Beerus. Which we didn't get a download, so we're not going to get Beerus. So there's still a chance of getting Vegito, though. I'll take him. But uh, Gohan and Goten, I don't super care for them. Ooh. I, like, never get Spirit Bomb. So I will take that. But yeah, either one of those two. Those are the two Legend Limited characters that, I, like, that are on this banner that I want. Mostly because uh, after the anniversary, I plan to just 7-star all of the Zenkai units because I have that Zenkai banner now. Uh, sparking guaranteed, and the only sparkings on it are the Zenkai ones. So it's kind of like, why would I summon on, like, this, it's guaranteed, why would I not summon for them? And Piccolo, cool. You know, he's 7 star now, so whenever he gets a Zenkai Awakening, I can do it for him. So I'll take that. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Actually, I want to check out this Piccolo, where is he at? Okay, so he is 7 stirred right now. Alright, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye